My name is Dr. Murad Gabriel. I'm the co-director of a nonprofit organization called Integral Ecology Research Center. We started finding out the Pacific fishers were dying from rodenticide toxicosis. So rodenticide is this type of pesticide. And so like, oh, what, what's causing this? Only thing that was coming up was there was something around these forests that was placing these rodenticide out there. And it wasn't until a Forest Service special agent stated that your answer is marijuana cultivation under public lands. Lieutenant John Norris is a California game warden of over two decades, and in an online interview, he describes his experience encountering illegal marijuana grow operations. And in 2004, I stumbled into my first uh, you know, cartel, what we call a trespass marijuana grow site. But we, we eradicated that that garden. And then when we were done eradicating it, we had all this mess in the creek, right? We had camp trash, we had fertilizers, pollutants, propane tanks. Unbeknownst to us, all that water was totally poisoned that they were diverting to water the plants. It was the biggest environmental, um, you know, train wreck I'd ever seen. And I'd worked a lot of traditional game warden stuff to, to protect those resources. These are not sanctioned marijuana sites. This isn't the legitimate industry that's doing it by the numbers and trying to. This is always illegal. Uh, these are always here, you know, on public lands, destroying our environmental waterways and our wildlife. The biggest thing that changed the game for me that day was seeing the environmental damage. So that was a 7,000 plant garden. And at the time, we didn't know about these banned toxic substances, these insecticides, carbofuran that they're bringing up from Tijuana and, and transporting, actually smuggling from across the border to put on these plants to keep everything living off of it, not to impact their cash crop. Carbofuran, it takes literally a quarter of a teaspoon to kill a male African lion. A 600 pound male African lion, quarter teaspoon. If you get rid of wildlife, you have no conflict with it. It doesn't destroy your plants. It doesn't eat your food. That's what these suspects constantly reiterate. I get rid of wildlife by poisoning them. Multi-year contamination of soil, poisoning terrestrial wildlife, poisoning avian wildlife. I would ask any conservationist, if that was occurring and in impacting threatened, endangered, or sensitive species, is that a significant conservation threat? I would bet you 10 out of 10 conservationists would be like, yes, that is. Yes, that is. Our organization is completely optimistic. There's no way we're quitting on this. You gotta be relentless and show no, pretty much what I say, no reclamation mercy, you clean it all up. What we do is document environmental degradation because what we're doing is gathering data in order to demonstrate that contamination is occurring. I care about conservation, rectifying something that us as humans are contributing towards in creating the scientific evidence so that policymakers and agency folks can make the best sound decisions. That's my main mission. It doesn't matter what species it is. It doesn't matter the topic. It's conservation. I do this work because it's a conservation issue. That's my mission. <laughs>